doctors, engineers, and CEOs are not really rich. In fact, in today's economy, there are four ways to earn money that offer varying degrees of financial freedom. By understanding this truth, it is possible to break free from the shackles of financial imprisonment. This notion comes from the book The Cash Flow Quadrant by Robert T. Kiyosaki. The fourth box of the four quadrants is probably the most commonly used and consists of being employed. Being employed is the most common way of earning money, a way in which you remain locked in your comfort zone for most of your life with no real freedom. Each of us faces the uncertainty of how to make a living, and the typical employee reacts by seeking security and protection in a job they believe to be stable. In the end, this is not the case. We'll explain why in a later video. So to find this protection, they place themselves hierarchically under a boss and in someone else's system. The typical employee thinks that to become rich, you have to study hard and then climb the corporate ladder. He'll say something like, I'm looking for a secure job with nice colleagues and good benefits. Employees are like machines that other people hire out. In this case, the boss or owner of the company in which they work over a more or less long period for their own profit. Employees are not paid according to their performance, unlike in all other cases, and they also have a maximum earning ceiling that they cannot exceed. There are, of course, advantages to being an employee, such as having financial security, admittedly, but fragile. We'll be releasing a video on this subject shortly on the vital nature of the employee box as a stepping stone to the other boxes. Employees also enjoy a number of benefits, which can vary enormously depending on where they live, like health insurance or a pension. So an employee works in someone else's system, is hierarchically below that person, and must obey them. The people in the third box of the quadrant are the bosses and owners of small businesses and the self-employed. To give an example, a freelancer on the Fiverr site fits into this box. This quadrant is less common than the employee quadrant, but more common than the other two. People in this box react to the uncertainty of how to make a living by taking control. In fact, the amount of money they earn depends directly on the amount of work they do. So for them, time really is money. The people in this box are the system or process that makes them money. This box is the riskiest. Virtually the entire world makes money from these two boxes and only consider them. We'll see why in a future video. The second box is owned by a large company. Mind you, we're talking about ownership, not being the boss. The owner earns money through delegation. Once he has created and set up all the systems in his company, he delegates to a new CEO and to employees. He no longer works there and receives passive income, i.e., he receives money from the results of his company without actually working there. They can earn huge amounts of money without doing anything. People in this box react to uncertainty about money by taking the lead and acting intelligently. This is one of the best boxes for becoming rich because it allows you to achieve financial freedom very quickly. A typical big business owner will say, I'm looking for people smarter than me to run my business for me. Still, being a large business owner requires a different and broader set of skills than being an investor. Skills that, for the most part, you don't learn at school, we'll come back to that in a later video. For example, you need to manage effectively and be good at human relations, if only at the beginning. So we've seen that the owners of large companies own the system or process that makes them money. It is possible for bosses and owners of small businesses to become owners of large businesses. To do this, they have to learn to change their views about ownership. Owners can leave their business for a year and return to a more profitable venture, whereas bosses or freelancers would return to a non-existent business. A boss or freelancer owns a job. An owner owns a system. Bosses or freelancers must therefore learn to manage other people and to delegate. The first box in this quadrant is that of the investor. People in this box react to uncertainty in a similar way to owners. An investor puts his money where he thinks it will grow the most. He may put it in the stock market, in cryptocurrencies, in art. He makes money out of money. A typical investor will say something like, I'm looking for a place where my money can work for me in the most profitable way. He doesn't need to work because his money is working for him. In simpler terms, we can say that when he invests his money in a company, for example, that company is bound to grow and therefore make more money. Or when you buy a painting, if it increases in value, you will be able to sell it at a higher price. 
In these two examples, the investor is neither the painter of the painting nor the creator of the company. His only job was to invest his money. As an investor, you can achieve financial freedom very quickly. You have all the advantages of a large company without the limitations. You can also build up a passive income stream. The only limit to being an investor is financial uncertainty because you can't be sure exactly how much money an investment will make. In a future video, we'll look at which investments really do make you rich. The aim is to reach this box through another because you need to have a certain initial sum to be an investor, unlike the other boxes in the quadrant. From now on, you know the truth and you have no more excuses. If you decide to stay on the left side, then you will work hard all your life for relatively little pay. You will worry about money all your life. You will depend on others to take care of you, for example, the government or family members. The limits of your life will be defined by money, and other people will control it because of that, especially if you decide to remain employed, and finally you will not know what true freedom is. If you decide to move towards the boxes on the right, then you will surely achieve financial freedom. You'll be able to pay for almost anything you want, fund all the charities you want to help, be safe, and allow your loved ones to be too. You'll also be anti-fragile. We'll explain why in a future video. You'll be totally free, 100% liberated from financial chains. Of course, this path is not the easiest. To achieve this liberation, you still need to be an employee for a while. We'll explain why in a later video. Because even though financial freedom is much more stable than being an employee or boss, the road to it is risky, and you run a high risk of failing and losing the time and money you've invested. This path is the most difficult, but the results are well worth the cost. If you decide to take the path that leads to financial freedom, you can follow us and we'll provide you with everything you need on this beautiful journey.